sort of emotions, I would assume, with Chris coming in, the news being delivered. Just what was that five, ten minutes like? Yeah. That swing? I mean, obviously, with Tanger's news, there's a lot more disheartening than the loss. I mean, the loss itself was tough and sucked how it ended. But hearing that, I mean, you just hope and pray that he's all right and that his family's doing well. So that's all that we can do for, for that and just wish him the best. How important was the fact that he was here? That maybe helped. Yeah, no, sure it's, you guys. yeah, exactly. I think that was a big thing that he did. And I mean, it shows how special he is, not just as a hockey player, but as a person. And he means a lot to this organization. And he's been around for so long. So, like I said, I just wish him, wish him the best. And I'll be praying for him. Maybe not even 48 hours later here, just what's moving for you guys? I mean, is there motivation to win it for him? I mean, just obviously you want to win the game under any yeah, chances. Yeah, 100%. Like I think we've been playing some good hockey. And I mean, the last couple of games, maybe not playing a full 60 minutes. So I think that's a big part of tonight is, I mean, we have a great test with Vegas. They're a great team and they have uh, some depth on the front and back end. So I think we're looking to disrupt them a little bit and get come out with a good outcome. Ryan, as a group, how do you make up for Chris, the player? Yeah, I mean, his leadership is always, always noticed on and off the ice. So I think that's going to be a big thing, but guys can step up and kind of play that role. I mean, for the meantime, we have we have a lot of great guys and there's some opportunity to play well. So I think for the most part, guys, I mean, any professional athlete, I mean, there's going to be guys that are hurt and banged up all the time. So it's just next guy up mentality. And I think that with this organization, this group, we, we do a good job of doing that. Can I, can I take you back to the actual, when Chris came in, I mean, did, did you have any inkling of, of what he was going to say or what or what was? No, I think everyone was caught off guard. I mean, no one knew what, what was happening. And so, I mean, I don't have much to say about it other than I just wish I remember I've been praying for him and I, I hope he's doing well, you know?